From North Minneapolis to the state capitol. You walk a mile in everybody's shoes and there isn't anything beneath you in the school. Um, I bawled my eyes out the entire time. Praise and admiration from lawmakers after watching the Love Them First documentary. What an inspiring message. I congratulate you for your perseverance, your hope. It follows an entire school year of triumphs. We all make mistakes. And struggles at Lucy Laney Elementary in North Minneapolis. Following their praise, lawmakers asked Lucy Laney's principal questions about changing the education system. And how do we then legislate from a mindset of not racing to the bottom, not pitting communities of colors against each other, or communities from different socioeconomic backgrounds against each other? The level of investment that our children need should not be a competition. I don't know how to help you guys with that. I don't know why it is a competition. The No Child Left Behind version of ECEA could have been redesigned by every president since George W. Bush, and it has not been. There were sort of two things that stood out to me, and, and one was when you talked about, you know, students that have good lives that aren't the best students are able to succeed without the best classroom, and when you look at a lot of other students that struggle, they really need the best classroom to succeed, uh, and I think that's true, and I think that's really, really hard for us to talk about here at the Capitol. And where do you see your real challenges? What are those things that you think, man, this is a hurdle that we can't seem to jump over? They don't even, people with money don't even, they don't even take the MCAs anymore. Like, they opt out half the time. They're, people with money are sending their kids to schools like Waldorf that don't take a single test. And yet we're using test scores, right? The law says the lowest 5% of the schools will be on that list. You have allowed a law to stay in action year after year that says that you will always list failing schools. And I just feel like that's that one thing that we can't quite seem to get over. Obviously a tough time as we make deliberations on things like education, but I, I truly hope that we can continue to make some more investments to make sure we give those kids everything they need. As elected officials, your coattails are being tugged by the same people over and over again. And sometimes you have to bring the voice of the quietest into the room. I hope that your fear of not being reelected um, doesn't stop you from your courage of doing the right thing. Pretty gutsy thing to say from Principal Friesleib in front of those lawmakers. I commend her for that. You know, a big part of that film is about the list. And what is the list? It's who finishes where taking those tests. I encourage you to see it when it becomes widely available. Senator Carolyn Lane, she requested the screening at the Capitol, says laws that stick never happen without first changing hearts and minds. That's why she brought the film to St. Paul, and she says today was a step in that direction, in her opinion.